Hi everyone. I believe I have some good news and it's the uh, self-running uh, coil and I believe I have it uh, working at this time now. And um, for the fun of it I've added a pickup coil here which is a coil or inductor of a shaded pole motor that I've had for a while. And um, there's a certain position, a certain area that it seems to pick up the uh, feel with the uh, the field that maybe that's happening between the magnet and the uh, coil and core. And uh, you can charge a capacitor with it. And uh, right now I have this 60 microfarad capacitor uh, with just a single diode, only rectifying it uh, one side. The, that's the uh, model that diode. These diodes are really good. I've been having good results with those. And I have the uh, uh, capacitor attached to a load and that's basically uh, a total about uh, 50 uh, K ohm, so 50,000 ohm load. It's kind of a high load but it doesn't really matter. And at this time the voltage uh, on that load is at 0.83 volts. And I can detach the load there and there's the voltage going up. And so Without a load, that's about it. And with the 50k ohm load, uh, that's what we're getting there. 0.83 volts. And the uh, circuit that I was using here, which is a 555 base uh, PWM, I got rid of it. And I pulled out a circuit that I built that I had never really finished for another project. And I'm using that uh, to switch and as soon as I started using this circuit I'm getting really great results. Um, now the uh, so basically I just clipped these clips here to uh, my gate of my MOSFET which is still the IRF 640 and uh, so still the same thing and uh, what else do we have here okay so this circuit works off of a 12 volt battery so it's basically 12 volts going into that circuit there and um, the good news is is uh, I'm way above uh, 12 volts at this time so this is the voltage that we're at 17.47 and uh, there's no uh, current being used at all and as a matter of fact I've connected my uh, high quality meter here that has more digits uh, on the capacitor bank to see what's going on and look the capacitor bank is being charged there's energy going back to the capacitors and you can clearly see it there escalating and uh, I believe this is capable of going well over 18 volts and most likely it'll be capable of going above 20 volts even. Who knows? Um, this is what's happening at this time and I believe this is great news and um, I'm happy that uh, everybody has been uh, encouraging me to keep looking at it because um, it does work. And uh, it's not possible that now that this is increasing uh, above the voltage of the feed battery of this circuit here, which is only 12.83 or whatever. Let's say it's 13 even. I mean, we're above that. So this can't be gate voltage leaking into the circuit. Now the circuit definitely goes into resonance. So resonance is important. And... I've got my probe uh, here across the coil which goes into resonance and if you look here these are these are the uh, peaks here of that coil so um, and there is the uh, oops sorry about that there's the frequency the resonating frequency of it so it's resonating at about 36.76 kilohertz and there's our voltage peak to peak, 60 volts and 20 volts uh, RMS on those uh, yellow here peaks. And in green here, that's the uh, pickup coil basically. 
have my other probe there on that pickup coil. So that's uh, what you're looking at and there's the data there as well. So it's saying it's uh, 750 millivolts but uh, it's charging the capacitor now. It's uh, up to 85, uh, 0.85 uh, volts uh, with the uh, 50k ohm load. So we have over unity here because that's energy we're picking up plus we have more over unity here because it's constantly charging those capacitors energy going back and that's above like I said the feed battery for the pulse uh, circuit to turn on and off that MOSFET so this is very good news and, and look at there's my uh, clips for my battery there's no battery attached okay those are two uh, 3,900 microfarad capacitors each so they're hooked up in parallel and with a resistance in between the two and if people wanted to experiment uh, I suggest to build this kind of uh, meter and that's thanks to this meter that I was able to see that suddenly the um, current dropped to nothing and actually I had to use this uh, meter here to you know do the fine-tuning uh, because it's got more uh, digits there to uh, give me more detail because I just can't even see anything anymore on these so that's uh, uh, what I'd just like to share for now and um, at this time uh, it's it's about 1 a.m. in the morning and uh, I've been working on this for about three hours now and I can only work at this very small amount of time at night and I have to go into late mornings but I've been working at a full-time job uh, well it's contract work that I have at this time and it takes a lot of my day you know I'm doing that about uh, 10 hours in my days so I'm very limited in time so unfortunately I won't be able to answer all the questions and all that but uh, I will, I'm not holding any information, this information is meant to share for everyone, the whole world. Um, you know, it's, I don't want to hold back anything, but unfortunately at this time, it's not a good time for me. Uh, my son's coming as well with uh, his newborn baby, or nearly one year old, for a visit. I uh, haven't seen them for close to a year. So uh, it's a bad time for me to really get involved in the topics and answer all the questions. Um, but maybe the following week after that, things will be better, just to uh, let you know. So uh, thanks for your interest and your support. And uh, I will be sharing this information uh, with more details uh, very soon. Thanks for watching. Bye now.